Now, buying a new construction home in River Islands or really anywhere can be overwhelming mentally and financially. So let me help you out on the money side by offering up ways to save you some cash when you go to buy. To do this, we're going to look at different buyer incentives you may have access to, as well as the motivation behind them, so you know what to keep an eye out for. Now, I'm Andre, your Cali Valley slash River Islands realtor, buyer advocate, and area expert, consistently giving you valuable content covering Central Valley cities, their new construction, and tips and tools for your successful relocation out here. So, subscribe if you're interested, because I've done all the research for you, so you don't have to. Now, the first thing to keep in mind when thinking about buyer incentives is that they're going to be market driven. So, these incentives will come and go, as well as increase and decrease in response to demand which of course is impacted by interest rates, location, time of year, and a variety of other factors. So the first place to look for incentives is with the builder. These incentives come in, in a variety of ways that are focused on trying to attract you to buy one of their homes. One example of this would be with a seller credit that allows you to buy down your rate with their preferred lender, which helps to lower your interest rate, which in turn lowers your monthly payment. Another incentive may be to include a variety of upgrades in the home at no cost. Many times builders buy more inventory than they actually end up needing. So when demand gets slow, another way to incentivize buyers is to include that excess inventory into their homes at no cost. There are also times where a buyer who's under contract to buy a home ends up not qualifying to buy the home when they go to close. Boom. Now the builder must quickly begin to start working on a plan to get this home sold again. This is often when they will incentivize buyers to purchase that home because they do not want to be sitting on unsold inventory. Another scenario is when a builder realizes they have a model or a floor plan that isn't selling well. They may add incentives or upgrades to that model home to make it more attractive. Now these incentives and upgrades are based on builder's discretion and although they won't drop the price for you, they may be willing to discuss incentives under the right set of circumstances. So when you're ready to buy, these are questions you or your agent can ask a builder so you can make sure you find these opportunities when builders are giving better deals, or you can even just request for the sales rep to keep you in the loop if any of these scenarios come up. Again, I'll review the questions you can ask really quickly. Number one, do you offer seller credits? Number two, are any upgrades included in the home at no cost? Number three, can you let me know if you have any homes that need to come back on the market because they weren't able to close? Number four, do you have any models or floor plans that you may be adding incentives to? And if so, can you let me know when you do? Now, the second place to find incentives is with your agent. In most new construction, the builders will give a commission to a buyer's agent, and often you could tap into an agent's commission to help you with some of your closing costs. For example, I now allow my buyers to spin a wheel to see what percentage of my commission they get to receive that I will put towards their closing costs. That percentage goes from 5% and up to 25%. And the best part is that this is before my broker painfully snatches their portion and before I pay taxes on whatever is left. So my buyers get access to my gross commission, giving them the best opportunity to get a nice chunk of my commission to help them when they go to close. Now, one important thing to understand about agent incentives is that if you want the option of access to an agent's commission, you need to always take the agent with you the first time you go to visit any new construction builders, if you do have a plan to buy at some point. Now, whether you plan on buying that day or not, it doesn't matter. Take your agent. Us agents are used to taking buyers to homes that they don't buy, so it's part of the job and it's not a big deal. Now, if your agent doesn't go with you on your first trip to that builder, they won't be able to represent you if you decide to buy and want to use an agent later. This will make buying more difficult because you won't have anyone actively working to support you in the process and that source of an agent's commission is now gone. Now the third way to find incentives when buying in River Islands or any new construction is through the builder's preferred lender. Now, not only can you have access to builder incentives, you simultaneously may also have access to the lender's incentives as well. These incentives come in a variety of forms like lender credits that can be used towards closing costs or money to be put towards upgrades in your home when you get to the design meeting. They can even possibly offer you mortgage rate buy downs to help lower your interest rate. So the question you're going to want to ask here is does your preferred lender offer incentives for buyers to use them as their funding source? And if so, in what way can those incentives be used to help me? I will say this, often there can be hidden costs associated with lenders that you're going to want to be aware of. I always suggest getting outside comparisons from other lenders to give yourself options because a loan that shopped around is a loan with options and options are always a good thing. I have a great local lender who can help when you're ready to shop your loan. If you're interested, just reach out. So there you have it. Incentives could come from your builder, your agent, as well as your builder's preferred lender. So make sure you leverage all of these potential sources of funds to save you money when you go to purchase your home. 
Now, if this video helped, please give it a thumbs up, like it, subscribe. For more info to know when thinking about relocating to Central Valley cities, you got questions or comments or plan on moving tomorrow or two months from now, hit me up. I would be happy to help. I will see you in the next video.